you guys welcome back this is Nina like share and subscribe we have some breaking news that has broke within the last hour apparently Saweetie and Quavo are officially broken up and you know what I really don't see them getting back together I think that whatever events actually happen to her behind the scenes I think that this time I think she's done and I could really tell by the statement that she put out, which I will be showing you guys shortly on what interaction went on behind the scenes. Anyone familiar with this know that Quavo is one third member of Migos. And he's been with Sweetie now since around 2018 when he slid into her DM. And they did seem like a very cute young couple, industrial power couple. I think that they were both good for each other. However, they're not together. And this is what she wrote. She said, I am single. I've endured too much betrayal and hurt behind the scenes for a false narrative to be circulating that degrades my character. Presence don't band-aid scars. And the love isn't real when the intimacy is given to other women. Now, look at those that last two words very carefully not just one woman other women plural okay so it seemed like this has been going on for a while in my opinion and again you know social media has definitely you know banded behind sweetie and i hope it's not just because she fits the narrative of what you know uh, people want black women to look like light skin, young, you know, just fun to be around. I get that. And she is very beautiful. However, I want people to ride like this when they see other relationships falling apart. Now, some people have had their various opinions about this. They're saying that she kept him relevant because the Migos really hasn't been hot in a while. Then some people are saying that Sweetie used him for a come up, getting Birkin's bags, and she recently got a Bentley, you know, a little short while back. And, you know, it's not just them. This goes on a lot in the rap world, in the Hollywood world. You know, this is how celebrities gift each other. You know, he's not just going to run the target like you know, yours or my husband or boyfriend would. They're going to be going out buying things like that for each other. And yes, does that kind of make them look a little bougie or whatever you want to call it? Yes. But again, in the rap world, this is what they do to stay up on social media, you know, and stay up on appearances. You know, they do stuff like that for each other. Now, if she's giving that Bentley back, I doubt it. And, you know, like she hinted to in her social media, you know, she's been going through a lot behind the scenes. She's been, you know, cheated on and hurt and devastated. And it's only, it's no telling how many women that he's been with. And... You know, I hate to say that this is just a part of the game or whatever you want to call it, but it just don't seem like none of these men want to be faithful. You know, and I know people are standing and, you know, sad about the situation, and I am too, but let's just keep it real. Sweetie is probably not the only uh, beauty in his life, meaning he probably had five or ten other women that look just like her, you know, that he's been taken care of. Publicly, we just don't know unless they want to come forward. And the other issue is, you know, I do agree with some posts. Some posts said that both of them together kept each other relevant. You know, uh, Quavo is very close to Offset. Offset is married to Cardi B. And it kind of adds a little mystery to them. I'm talking about the Migos. And, um... You know, like I said, it seemed like they were working out. It seemed like they were both on the same same wavelength. 
However, I guess at the end of the day, what it comes down to is it don't matter what your man's title is. It don't matter what he does. It doesn't matter how many times or, you know, what he want to gift you, the Birkin bags, the cars, the trips, you know, it just does not matter. If your man want to cheat and he will, he will cheat, period. You know, that's the one thing about the situation that I think a lot of people need to understand. Just because we see them on social media so much, and just because we actually do like them as a pair, does not mean that what we're seeing in front of us is what's really going on. And again, I'm about to refer back to what she put out on her social media. She says she's single. She's endured too much betrayal and hurt behind the scenes for a false narrative to be circulating that degrades her character. Which basically is going to show, when she says too much betrayal, it's definitely been more than one woman. It's definitely been more than one woman. And then she's putting out there that the presence don't band-aid what's been going on. And him saying that he loves her is not real intimacy when it's given to other women. Other women. Not another woman. Other women. And honestly, that's another thing that surprised me about this. Other women. Not another woman. So apparently, you know, he's just been dipping his toe in several ponds, you know, of women for a while. And like I said before, you know, you can't really change a man. A man needs to change himself. I don't care how people think you so fine and you a dime and, you know, you got all this going on, got all that going on, you know, they don't care because, You know, we all look at Sweetie and we was cheering his own when he probably got a few Sweeties tucked away somewhere that look just like her. And, like I said, she gonna be hurt for a while. I think by that statement alone, I think that she's basically basically saying, you know what, I'm done. I got as much as I could out of this situation. You know, she definitely made a come up with this, you know, she got a couple of single records out there that I actually enjoy listening to, she's got companies, you know, she can definitely entertain, so I really do think that, you know, Sweetie is definitely going to be on her way to really living that single life, she don't have no kids, and I think she's going to be better after this situation. Now, of course, you got people that's going to bring Offset into the situation and drag him through the mud and be like, well, Offset keep getting Cardi B back and blah, blah, blah. I understand that, but this is a totally separate situation. What I'm basically saying is what Cardi B and Offset do is different than I think what Sweetie and Quavo has been doing separately and that's another thing we rarely see those two couples together anyway so I'm not really seeing them getting back together right now even if they take a long break you know maybe maybe she'll let him crawl back but honestly at this point I really think that she is done sweetie has never put out a statement like that before where she wasn't, you know, doing what she usually do with her playful post and, you know, stuff, products that she's selling. So I think she's actually done with this. I think it was a lot more going on behind the scene. I wouldn't be I wouldn't be surprised if he ain't have some babies on the side. You know, it's gotta be something. It's always something. So I'm just going to monitor the situation. I'm going to see what comes out of the situation. I definitely want to know what you guys think. Or do you guys think this is a publicity stunt? Do you think they're doing this because they got, what, an album coming out or something? 
or trying to make a quick sale and then get back together. Tell me what you think about this messy situation. Any other details come out, I'll update this. Like, share, and subscribe. Be safe until the next time. Bye, guys.